employees, workers, clients that act and pretend to be friendly and on your side. And meanwhile, they're plotting and scheming against you. And as they see you having some success and growing and building and transforming, they just, it builds up so much hate and resentment that they become this term, this toxic individual of a moral predator. And What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today is going to be pretty quick and down and dirty. And we're going to get grimy. It's going to get fucking nasty, but it's what's needed. We're going to be talking about a, a, a slimy topic of a term that I've kind of put a bunch of words together. I actually had to search on AI and think, what's another word for this? What's another? And I combined up and came up with this term called a moral predator. And I'm going to We're going to dive deep into this. I'm going to give you examples of this and how to overcome this here on the Steve Eckert Show, which is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset gotten you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms all while you create your own personal ideal freak freedom lifestyle. And in order to do that, you are going to need to be aware of and avoid these type of individuals that we're going to go in hard on today. I'm not really sure where this episode is going to go as we start talking about this because it's a it's a pretty nasty subject. We're talking about these moral predators. Now, that's all we a lot of times like to start off with a story. So back in our in our in our gyms in New York, there were lots of moral predators, meaning there are employees, workers, clients that act and pretend to be friendly and on your side. And meanwhile, they're plotting and scheming against you. And as they see you having some success and growing and building and transforming, they just it, it, it builds up so much hate and resentment that they become this term, this toxic individual of a moral predator. And, and, I've even seen this current day, even in, in different programs that I've been a part of in the last couple of years, seeing people who just have the, the bad intentions, who, who bite the hand that feed them and turn their back and just do slimy, backstabby shit, scum ass, scumbag motherfucker shit. Yeah. Scum ass, scumbag motherfucker shit. That's a new thing where there's in, in every business there's and that I've been a part of, you, I see it and there's people that just are pretend to have play the moral high ground, but really it's all a front. It's all facade just to steal someone else's success or ride the coattails of someone or steal clients or to poach other people and and, and from other businesses and other people's companies that they're within and acting to be part of. And this happened in our gyms and I see it happen up until current day. And it's, it's fucking disgusting. And these are the moral predators. And we're just going to break down this type of individual. So you could be aware of it. You could start seeing these signs and know when these leeches are starting to, to Im- invade your territory because more, this is, we're talking about people who don't have these strong moral principles. They, they live off of the illusion and, and, and the idea of moral principles and honesty and decency and values and, and a mission and, and all this other stuff. But that's exactly it's to, it's to blind you to the real agenda that they're that they're coming at you with, and these are another like so I went to into AI and I was putting in all right I was, it really it this took like a week to come up with moral predators to put those words together and I'll break down how that came about, but it, it came down to people people who like fair weather another term that AI came up with I didn't like with was fair weather ethicists. Think about that. Individuals that that act morally only when when the conditions are favorable to them or when they stand to gain by acting morally. Just like a fair weather friend who's only around in the good times. That's a that's a moral predator. 
they are 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 preying on your morals and and using their own fake ass like straight up bullshit morals that they they project just to to fucking steal and leech off of other other people and other areas of life and they're lacking fidelity which is is the the faithfulness or loyalty to a set of principles or a moral code but they're using that exact concept to to be this predator that's why they're preying on it that's why it's a moral predator they're they're lacking these principles that we talk about uh, some, b- based on a set of moral principles or values. That's what this term moral predator came out to be, like an, an individual that just preys on the concept of morality, using it as a tool and a nasty weapon of their own. They're weaponizing the, the concept of morality to, for their own personal advantage rather than following or adhering to this actual ethical moral code that they're projecting this is a yeah it's a is it a negative term fuck yeah it's a negative term there's no good side to it it's suggesting that that this it's pretty much saying and stating this person is strategically exploits ethical principles for self-serving purposes this is an ultimate toxic fucking scumbag this is not just a hater because a hater has is really just a a lost soul on the internet typing shit in. There's no like devious back-ended pre-plotted like first degree scumbaggery plan that they're putting into place. Yeah, kid, there were coming. I told you, we don't know where this is going to go today. Tyson's looking at me like, what the fuck does that even mean? Think about like a first degree murder. It's like premeditated. This is a moral predator is premeditated and they, they have only self-interest. They prioritize just their personal gain over any type of real ethical standards and they only selectively apply these moral code and moral judgments when it aligns with their goals when it makes them look good meanwhile on the back end underground and creeping in the shadows like a fucking dirt bag manipulating manipulate they manipulate all of these morals and ethical concepts to to just benefit their own agenda and convince others that this is the, you know, they're fucking, they're just a priest. They're just a holier than thou. They are, they are so fucking convincing of their own moral sincerity. And that's why it's a moral predator. They're, they're preying on this whole concept and it is 100% insincere lack of real commitment to any kind of fucking morals or ethics. It's just only when it's superficial and contingent on them robbing, cheating, and stealing and slimeballing their way to some kind of temporary success because there's no way that this could last the long term. Like it will crash and burn and you'll start seeing this happen with, with these type of individuals. But you need to be aware of this and know about it because they are ex- they will exploit the fuck out of you and not in a good way. There's such thing as exploiting it at, at, at an opportunity and meaning taking advantage of it. But these predators are taking advantage of other people's trust and moral expectations just to advance their own per- 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 personal interests. They are just opportunists. They change their moral position to suit the circumstances. They're preying on it. That's why they're a predator, especially when it gives them a clear benefit to themselves. At, at regardless of who it, what it damages, who it hurts, what bridges they burn, and then you'll see this pattern with these kind of people over and over. And I'm, I'm talking about, I mean, this is not just men. This is not the shit. This is women too. Women are, women are just as bad because Men will do it and it's kind of expected for them to always be at war and do what they think they need to do to get ahead. And you're like, all right, it's just a fucking scumbag thinking he's doing what's right. And his head, he might think it's what's right. But women are fucking moral predators too. They will talk about, you'll see it all the time about how women need to uplift each other and all this other stuff. And the second they see someone who's their bestie and their BFF making some money or having some success or making moves or at least attempting stuff, they're the biggest hating ass bitches on the planet. Oh no, he said bitches. Yeah, damn right I said bitches, motherfucker. Cancel me. They're moral predators. They will act high and mighty just to 
inch and slime their way in like a, 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 a Russian spy just to drag you down because they can't stand your success. They would, this moral predator, yeah, they want to steal the success, but they would rather, they wouldn't rather like say they had an opportunity, a chance for them to be successful and for you to be successful. They would rather make you not be successful. That would be their top Harry than both of you being, they would rather see that. It's fucking disgusting. This is a level beyond a hater. A hater is just like very surface level, no devious intentions. These moral predators, men and women, it's disgusting. They will have charm and charisma and be so friendly and, and be persuasive and all this other stuff and they'll, they'll go out of their way to sway the public opinion and they'll be talking shit behind people's back and gossiping and all this other stuff. They're going to play the victim card to get sympathy, to get you turn against, get you to turn against someone else because they need it just to make themselves feel good about themselves because they're still just a little fucking child trapped in an adult's body and they can't handle seeing success. Should I had clients, personal training clients, when, when, I, when I had the gyms, this is years ago, before even we moved to California, before any real success, as I started getting some coaching and learning how to really build a business and learn how to make money and get multiple income streams and started really getting some success and making some, some good money. I had personal training clients because you know personal, people who hire a personal trainer usually are pretty well off. They have good money. They could hire a one-on-one trainer. They can afford it, but they kind of look down on their trainer usually in general, like thinking that they are a higher status than the trainer working in a gym. But when their trainer starts to surpass them in success and in money and in, and in business and in entrepreneurship, they will start hating on that. I had clients that I was training for years that completely stab you in the back and turn their back on you just because they see some success and not saying, oh, the success got your head. No, that's an excuse. That's a scapegoat just to be this moral predator because your little precious fucking ego was hurt that someone surpassed you. You can't see someone ha- have success. You have to drag them down, even if it means screwing yourself over. People would do that. That's what the moral predator would do. But the moral predator will, will, will slime their way around so that they will try and take some of that success and steal some of that success from you but it can't last. It's not, it, they're not playing the long game, obviously, because they're just burning so many fucking bridges as they go. And, and some other people on these other bridges don't see the other bridges burn. And they think, oh, this person is so fucking awesome. But eventually that bridge is going to get burned. And that motherfucker's going to be stuck on an island in hell where they fucking belong. I told you, I don't know where this is going today. It's going to go maybe dark and nasty, but this is, listen, this is what this show is all about. Some people will hate, but most can relate. And this is why I'll never make it on the fucking internet. This is why this show just will not really ever make it too big. I won't make it on the internet. I'm never going to fucking make it when it comes to this because I'm not going to be that half-assing, fake, bullshit-ass motherfucker that just is people-pleasing and approval-seeking to say the shit that people want to say, these moral predators, just to sway the public and all this other stuff because it's bullshit and I refuse to go down that fucking line. It's almost why I can't even get a, uh, we can't get good YouTube videos going like as a family because we don't have it in us to be that fucking bullshit fake person like that you see. And then they, they talk about all these, they bullshit and they edit stuff and it's all just fake and try to make it real. Even if it's fake, just say it's fake. And this is for entertainment purposes only. And this is not real. This really didn't happen. Not going to happen. I will never make it on the freaking internet because also I don't need pictures with famous people and autographs and kiss people's asses. Shit. I know motherfuckers who, who, who talk shit about people, like blatantly talk shit, bury them, drag them down in the mud, try to drag them down, and at the second they have an opportunity to maybe make a dime with that person, all of a sudden they're kissing their ass and riding their dick like a little bitch. Like, talk about a flip floppy. That is a moral predator. They pick and choose when it's time to be moral, when it's time to pretend to do the right thing just for, to be an opportunist. It's, it's fucking nuts. And there are, uh, shit, look in politics, you can find examples of this all the time, look in all over, all over the place, you could, in all in business, you can find this, these moral predators, these ethical freaking swindlers, whatever you want to call it, a, a swindler, I was coming up with different names for it that I came up with as I was like diving into this, swindlers of, of standards, and they're just lacking freaking honor. They are, are predators of principle, a moral predator is a predator of principle, a predator of morals, obviously. They, they have stipulations to their standards. 
Like they only have the standards when it suits them, when it makes them look good. They're cherry picking and picking and choosing when they're going to be honorable and when they're going to do the right thing and when they're going to, what they're going to show to what area. Like literally, like I was saying, they, they will talk shit and actually ruin and sabotage other people or attempt to and drag other people down behind their backs. And then they'll be, you'll see them a couple months later with these same people kissing their ass and being buddy, buddy. Men and women. And women sometimes are even nastier and dirtier at it. Just some, it's just nasty shit, these moral freaking predators. You see this, I was doing some research. I don't have the, the exact spots down, but there were a, dozens of examples of exactly what we're talking about, in, even in the Bible. I'm not going to even quote them because I didn't, I didn't like the translations of it. It didn't, I'm not sure of the exact location, so I'm not even going to get into it, but there were even tons of examples there in the Bible as I was doing research for this, for this show. And, and the gossiping and the like gossiping is meant for little schoolgirls. Men are not meant to gossip. If you're a man bitching and complaining to me, like get the fuck away from me. I want to be nowhere around you. We talked about leaky man and leaky men just on a recent episode. Like gossiping is a leaky little bitch ass man. I don't want to hear. And because and, then I know on the top of that, you're when I'm not around, you're probably talking the same shit about me. And I also know the motherfucker you're gossiping to me about. You're probably going to be kissing their ass a week from now. If you think you can make a dollar with them. And all of a sudden, that's why you are, you're, you're, you're basically a, a, a pr- prostitute for sale. That's what a moral predator is, covering up and hiding their real intentions to be these little, these little bitches and gossiping and, and little whiny bitches and, and snitching and a hater and a complainer. Like if someone's gossiping to you, they're gossiping about you when you're not there. You've heard that before. And it serves no purpose. It just leaks your energy. It leaks your manhood when someone's talking like that. And so, so what do you? How do you? What do you even do about that when someone's sitting there talking sideways to you about someone else or complaining about someone else? Like you already know they have zero morals. You already know they're a moral predator. You already know they have zero allegiance. How do you defeat it? Like you stop them dead in their fucking tracks. I'll tell them, listen, I don't want to hear this shit. I don't want to be part of this. You're just dragging down my energy, my life force. I don't want to be part of this shit. Take that shit somewhere else. Go take that to those women that we're talking about empowering other women and all this other stuff when all they do is drag women down that are more successful. Like, go take that shit to them. Go start like a women's gossip group or some shit. Don't bring that shit to me. I don't want to hear that shit. Call them out on their bullshit. I'll be like, listen, stop talking shit. Or if they're talking shit to me about someone, I'm like, hold on, let me get that person on the phone and let's 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 settle this. I don't need to be, I don't want to be caught in the middle. Let's get them on the phone. And then all, oh no, you don't need to, oh, it's all it's a different story all of a sudden. Or ask them if they're complaining about something and bitching and moaning for the millionth fucking time. Like, all right, what's the solution? What do you have? What's a solution you have? Do you have any value to add to this situation? That usually shuts them the fuck up because all they know how to do is bitch and moan and complain because they're looking to play the victim. Because they're just fucking toxic. They're just emotional manipulators. That's what a a, a moral predator is is an emotional manipulator they're just undermining your your faith in in their morals and, and the way that you you think they're undermining that shit to use it to their advantage they just are, are going to suck your energy and ooze your energy out like that leaky energy we talked about a couple weeks ago they're going to play the role of the victim and make you feel guilty and make you feel bad for them so you side with them as they're just doing all kinds of slimy, backstabby, pulling other people down shit when they claim to be lifting people up and it's just see-through. And then you see people follow them. You're like, how, does, how do these people not see right through that bullshit? It's fucking disgusting. Think about that. And they're just too much, too soon, and, and they're, they're just all over the place and, and always want to one-up someone and do better and they always have something better, always have a better story. Like, it's freaking crazy. That is a moral predator. That is a toxic person. They're gossipers. They're victims. They're, they have arrogance and, and narcissism. They're, they're just jealous, slimy motherfuckers. They're manipulators, fucking slightly demented and temperamental. They're freaking twisted and, and, and judgmental. And you need to be looking out for these people. Be aware of them. Study it and stay away from them. Don't even like you're not going to fucking fix them. It's just not going to happen. The gossipers, the, the people who make themselves a victim, that push, push off responsibility and make every little tiny bump is into a fucking catastrophe. Every little speed bump is a disaster. They're, they're arrogant and and 
act like they're being challenged on anything just to cover up their their insecurities. They're 100% a moral predator for the most part does this stuff out of ego and jealousy. They can't stand to see someone who they thought was their peer or thought was below them fucking surpassing them and exploding past them because they're actually putting in the work and doing the work and actually do have a mission, a vision, of values, and goals when they pretend to just to try and drag that person down all on these false fucking principles to then go and convince people around them that, that they're, they're, they're on this like high and mighty path. They're fucking manipulators. They will suck time and energy out of your life under, under a facade of freaking friendship. And they know what buttons to push. They know how to win people over. They know how to get people to turn against you. These are the moral predators. These are the ones that pull that energy out from other you. That they talk about lifting people up all the time. So it looks like, oh, they're so great, but really they're doing that just to drag that person down that they have resentment for or jealousy for because they have this ego that they just can't stand it and it's not a good ego that's just making them just burn up inside to see someone else successful. So they will pick and choose when to be do the moral right thing and they're preying on, on, on morals. That's what a freaking moral predator is. Yeah, it's fucking demented and it's twisted. Hell yeah, it is. And you need to... Set limits and boundaries with these complainers, with these blamers, with these freaking toxic bitch ass motherfuckers. You need to set limits and and boundaries with them. You need to stay above them. Marcus really said that the best revenge is to not be like your enemy. That's what you could do. Not play their fucking game because then you're just two idiots slinging mud at each other. And people from a distance can't tell who's who and you both just like to look like two idiots. And then you know they're going to go and plant those seeds around to get public opinion on their side with their little moral predator moral predator tactics and strategies, the little slimy tactics that they're aware of. You're not going to go and do that. That's how do you beat them? By not being like them, by holding the fucking line and continue doing what you know is the right thing to do and being who the fuck you are, who you were to get to where you are, and you keep fucking riding that wave with faith and belief that you know you're headed in the right path because you're not going to fall down to their fucking standards. You're going to rise above them. You don't need to respond to a moral predator's bullshit and lies and emotional chaos. Hell no. Set up the boundaries. Enforce the fucking boundaries. And don't focus on the problems and, and, and only the solutions because they're just going to be the ones that are always complaining and talking about the problems. And then another thing with the moral predators is don't fucking forget. Like, like 9-11, never forget. People talked about September 11, never forget. And now all of a sudden... This country's all over the fucking place. Whatever happens to that, never forget. And being unified as a country. Does it really take a terrorist freaking disaster to unite people, unite this country, and not make people be these scumbags that we're talking about? And these whacked out whack jobs you see all over the fucking news? And these moral predators? Don't forget. Yeah, you can let go of it. Don't let it drag you down. Forgive them for being a lost, confused, scumbag, fucking demonish fucking soul. But don't let it drag you down. You don't need to let it take your energy down. You fucking move on and you just keep marching off being fucking awesome. That's what you do. And then use your people that are around you that you know, like, and trust your support system and get a perspective on this. Make sure you're not being an asshole in the situation. Make sure it makes sense. That's what, how you defeat these toxic personalities, these moral predators, these opportunists. That's how you do it. And, and this is the kind of deep work that I help men through in the Freak Father Alliance, where I help entrepreneurs, fathers and men, develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning, and attack their mission to create their ideal lifestyle, which steers them away from making sure first they're not one of these moral predators and changing their ways and transforming themselves so they can have time, freedom for themselves and their families. This is what we do in the Freak Father Alliance Men's Mentorship Group Coaching Program. So if you want, need some help in that area or dealing with these different dynamics that we're talking about, these different people and relationships and hard conversations and tough situations, send me a message. We'll get you on the program. We'll get you up and running and you can avoid these scumbag people that are out there. They're right in front of your face. They're in your business. They might be in your family. You think they're your friends? They're purposely acting like it. They are planting seeds. Be aware of these things that we're talking about. I could say you're talk about this. We just wanted this to be straightforward and direct. You get the point. I don't need to dive into it any deeper than this. Watch out for them. Stay away from those scumbags and keep being fucking awesome.
That's what we do. In the, that's what a freak father is in the Freak Father Alliance. Tell me about, I want to hear about some of your experiences with these moral predators now that we broke down what they are, these fair weather ethicists and moralists that are full of shit and dragging other people down, acting like they are the poor them, the poor victim. I just want to help people out and lift people up. Sure you do, you slimy bitch ass motherfucker. Yeah, that's a term, slimy bitch ass motherfucker. Look how smooth that just flows out. You can tell that ain't the first time I've said that. What's so funny there, cameraman? Anyway, I want to hear about your experiences with these moral predators, with these scumbags, with these slimy people, with the haters, with these toxic individuals. Put it down there in the comments down below. Keep marching on. Don't let them drag you down. Don't forget the, own, the best revenge is to not be like your enemy. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. Find me.